Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to uh, play with Minecraft using Python, the coding language. A uh, very good coding language, very commonly used today and this is a great way to learn it. So let's get started. Right, we're going to build what I'm calling a Python craft server. And a Python craft server looks something like this. We're going to have a Python script here that talks to Python. It gets interpreted by MCPI, which are the Python libraries that normally live within a Raspberry Pi. And then we're going to use this thing called Raspberry Juice, which is a plugin that acts as an API between what would be Raspberry Pi talk and Minecraft server talk. And then that's going to allow us to play Minecraft and make really cool things happen using Python scripts. Okay, the first thing we're going to need is to download a copy of Python. So here we are at python.org downloads. Now you can see it says Mac OS X. If you're on PC, you just look for the PC version of this. And I'm going to download uh, 3.8. You see the installer is just here. We click on it. And you open your downloads folder and click on this little bit of jelly here. And then you just follow the instructions to install it. I'm not gonna install it because I've already got it on my system. It's as simple as clicking continue and agreeing to whatever terms they ask <laughs> within reason. Uh, we can close that then and you will end up with two little bits of software on your computer. One thing that's called idle, which is here, which is kind of like the Python uh, IDE, the script editor. And you'll also have this little rocket ship thing here called a Python launcher. Okay, now what do we need? We need MCPI, right? This is the Python document library for Minecraft Pi. Here we can see this is in pypy.org. You can download a copy of this if you like. I have got this already in a package ready to go on the team site, so you don't need to worry about going and get all these bits unless you particularly want to. The good thing about going to these sites is all additional information for these little bits and pieces are, are available. And if you really want to educate yourself on this quite deeply, these are the places to go to. So here we go. We've got the MCPI and the latest version of that. And then we're also going to need a Raspberry Juice plugin, which you can get from this GitHub page right here. Again, I've included it already in the zip file, which I've prepared for you. So you don't need to worry about this unless you want to. It's really good to come here though, because you can see all the supported commands that this plugin has, if you want to really push things further. Okay, so I think we'd probably better get started on creating our Minecraft server. Okay, so we've got the zip file, which I have arranged for you already here over in Teams. You can download this if you like and get started. Once it's come into your, it'll come into your downloads folder. You can move it to your desktop if you want for ease. You double click on it and it will pop out the folder that we require. Python craft assets. Now in here, you can see there's a copy of MCPI, which is just a load of Python scripts really. We've got uh, oh, there's a Minecraft server properties help file that I've created here to guide you through that. A build kit for the server that we're going to make, which is a 1.14.4. Some Python scripts that I've already created for you. And the Raspberry Juice plugin. So we need to go first of all through the process of building this server. If we click in the one that says server here, there's the craft bucket jar file. We're going to first of all click on this start command. That will launch terminal. Now, first of all, it's going to stop and say it's failed because you haven't filled in the EULA, the EULA, or the End User License Agreement. So we're going to go back up here, and it's a text file. So if we open with text edit, and all we've got to do is change that last bit that says false to true, and resave the file. And then we can close it. Now, we've also got a server properties file that was created here. If we click in this, we can open that with our IDE. I'm using brackets. And we should be able to change all of the permissions that we want here. If you're not sure what all of these mean, I've created this document here that will help you in the downloads folder that you, you the zip file, in the zip file that you downloaded. And we can open this up and it'll guide you through all of these various 
choices that you can make here. Now I'm just going to make a few quick choices that are going to be quite important to what we're going to do now. So first of all, we don't want to be in survival mode. We want to be in creative mode. If we go down all of these, player difficulty, that's going to be easy. That's fine. Do we want to spawn monsters? I don't think we do. So let's make that false. So most of the choices within here are a true or false option. So level type, do we want a default world? No, actually I want to create a flat world. If you want to look at all the choices of worlds you can make, look within the document and it will show you. So we're going to go flat here. Let's have a look what else we've got. Enable command blocks, not at the moment, we don't need to do that. Maximum world size, that's fine. Uh, da, 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 da. Keep going down here. Spawn NPCs, yes. no we don't want non-player characters so we're going to put that as false allow flight yeah i think so i quite like flying around in creative mode i don't know about you uh world name right at the moment it's just world so let's make that a bit more interesting call it python craft spawn animals uh not now i think we can change these later on and adapt this world but I think at this time we're gonna say no what else have we got oh our message of the day and then this is quite useful when we want to identify our server later on so let's call that also Python craft and I think that should do so let's save that server now make sure we press save and close that file now let's have a look within our server again okay we can't add anything into here yet, so we can't add any plugins because there isn't a plugin folder. What we're going to have to do is go through the motions of starting our server to create all of the required um, elements within this server, and we can we can move this thing forward. So we could use the start command here and start it again, or we could use the start command, which I've got on the next level up. Simply put that there because we're going to be working within this directory a lot, and the save you keep going inside the server. So let's test this out, make sure it works. Yeah, it does say press any key to continue. Now, as we do that, we should be able to see this area populate now with lots of different documents. Here we go. As the server opens up, you can see all of these things have started to come in. This might take a few seconds. While that's building, the bit that we're going to be interested in here is the plugin section, because we're going to need to copy in our Raspberry Juice jar file here for the Raspberry Juice plugin into that folder. And then we're going to need to restart the server again so that that actually wakes up and works. So we'll open the plugins folder. We should be able to just grab that and drop it in there. There we go. It's in there. So we really do need to stop this server and restart it. Now you don't just stop it from the button here. You must type the word stop, first of all, and let everything save. Then you can close it. Then we are okay to go back and restart that server. And it should restart with the Raspberry Juice plugin firing up. And if we look at the instructions as they go down, we should see Raspberry Juice come up. There we go, loading Raspberry Juice. So we know that it's, it's recognized the plugin. That's good news. Great, our server has started. Now we need to add all of the parts into this puzzle to start making this Minecraft server talk to python right now we've got a working minecraft server it's just a straightforward vanilla server it has got the raspberry juice plugin in there so it's ready to start working we're going to need the mcpi files here and they're going to need to live within this folder here now it's a little bit impractical this thing's called um, python craft bucket build at the moment let's give that a new name and we're going to just call this my Python craft and we'll close all of this off here and this is where all of our working files are going to live when we actually create them so we're going to copy mcpi folder and we're going to drop that inside of there 
so that we're starting to build all of the things that we need within this one folder. We're also going to need a Python script. So if we grab from this list of scripts that I've created here, we're going to use the Hello World script as a test because it's the most basic, simple script that we've got to see whether the connections all work. So we're going to drag that in here as well. And now we've got everything we should require to actually get this thing working. So perhaps we need to get Minecraft up and running now. And I should already have it here in the bottom. It is ready to go. And let's connect to our server. So the server is running. We should be able to go to a multiplayer option. We're going to add a server. First, please make sure that you are running the correct version of Minecraft 1.14.4, 1 1 which is the same as the server that we're running, the bucket server. So we're going to go to add server. I'm going to rename that. I'm going to call that, you guessed it, Pythoncraft. And the server address is going to be local host because it is hosted locally on your own computer. Okay, and there we go. We can see our server. Fantastic. Let's get that up and running. And it's night time. Wouldn't you believe it? It's not going to bother us, so that's fine. We can leave it at night time for now. So we've got our Minecraft screen there, and now we want to test to see whether our Python scripts work. The one we've created already, if we double-click on it, it should launch idle and because it's saved within there we don't need to resave it anywhere this is fine we can just run this file run module you see it's come up on the uh, terminal window here and if we go back to minecraft and back to the game we can see hello minecraft world down in the chat we can open chat up and we can see it here so we can change that to be anything we like if we edit our script we can just call this hello Python craft world and resave. And we run that script again, run module. We come back to Minecraft, we can see there it is, hello Python craft world. We've successfully made the connection between Python and Minecraft. Now we can get some interesting stuff going, but that'll be for the next tutorial.